Um, I'm not sure that this is the right move for the goat Zizu. Zidane is keeping a close eye on the situation at Man United. The Frenchman would prefer to join United over Bayern Munich. Now, as we know, Nagelsmann is good, has extended his contract at Germany, which means that Bayern Munich are now still looking for someone to take over at that role since Nagelsmann is already now spoken for. If I was advising Zidane, and it was between Bayern and United, I would actually pick Bayern. And I'll probably explain that afterwards. Um, so let's 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 delve into this right now. Let's let's let's, let's, let's <sighs> the kind of manager that Man United need isn't what Zidane is. That is not to take away from what Zidane is as a manager or what he's achieved. And we'll get there. We're gonna get there because we're gonna talk about Ziz. We're gonna talk about the Ziz. We're gonna talk about the Ziz. See the Ziz? It's that dude. The Ziz has one of the best resumes of any figure in football. The only person that can see what's up to the Ziz is Beckenbauer. Beckenbauer has arguably the greatest resume of any player, as in, no, of any figure in football, based on what he did on the pitch as a player and what he did as a manager. Beckenbauer is still goated, but Zidane might be a close second. And I think you also have Zach Gallo as well, who also did pretty well. But the situation at Man United, and what is happening, I'm not sure whether Zidane is the right man to alleviate the situations at Man United. And if I was advising Zizou, who still has an amazing legacy that he's left both on the pitch and off the pitch. One of the greatest players of all time and achieved one of the greatest achievements in UCL history as a manager. I'm like, I would advise going to United. But hey, what do we say in life? Always better on yourself. Everyone thinks I can't do it. I'm going to prove them wrong and prove them why I believe I can do it. I'm going to prove all you doubters wrong. And I get that. I appreciate that. But I'm just not sure that this is going to work out. Because the people who say that I'm lying and I'm full of crap, they'll say half up. We are a big Man United. We are one of the most supported clubs in the world. We are one of the most known clubs in the world. Our global fan base is incredible. Bro, even Martians are saying, United, United, United in Martian. So I don't know what they say, but you clap, but beach blah, but please blah. I don't know how you speak Martian. I don't know what United is in Martian. Please someone tell me in the comments below. Martians was a baby! Shout out to the Martians up in that please! Colony, easy. So people, United fans were like, yo, half of you baldy. You know what this guy did? League titles, Copa del Rey, oh. And he won a Champions League three times in a row. Yo, Pep Trada, say what's up, and he, he, he got clowned by Real Madrid. <laughs> so he did something that is unprecedented in Champions League history. He, he not only defended it, something that no one has ever done, he defended it twice, three times in a row, something that I don't think we'll ever see. It's him winning the Champions League, one of the hardest competitions to win, winning it three times in a row. So United fans will say, half hope. A guy who can do that, we want him at Man United. Because Ten Hag didn't achieve that, Mourinho didn't achieve that, Van Hal didn't achieve that, Gollum didn't achieve that, Moyes didn't achieve that. Even the great Fergie, one of the greatest managers of all time, he didn't achieve that. So for United fans to be like, half of shut your pie hole. Shut your pie hole. We want this dude. We want this freaking dude. Because this guy can say what's up for us. I'm like, okay. Okay. All right. All right. 
But here's something that people are missing on. Because Zidane as a manager, it's, a, it's something that's very complicated. It's a very complicated thing to understand. Was this an amazing achievement? Yes. Outstanding. Superb. And you can't take it away. And let's just not get it twisted. A trash manager or a stooge who doesn't know what he's doing can't win three useless in a row. It's impossible. Players alone can't win three useless in a row. This is one of the most hardest competitions, not only because of the level of the players, but the level of managers you're going up against. It is a very difficult competition to win, let alone it is even more difficult to defend your title. So 1,000%, you have to give Zidane credit for not only winning it, but winning it three times in a row, defending his title twice. So Zidane, what Zidane did, it's freaking crazy. I still don't understand how he did it. So don't understand how he did it. Maybe he's just been blessed by the football gods. Maybe you can't explain it. Once you've just been anointed by the football gods, us mere mortals can't explain it using our limited human intelligence and human understanding. This is something that is extraterrestrial beyond our capabilities and beyond our brainwaves. However, however, As we're talking about Man United, we can't ignore this. Exhibit A. I see beast mode. I see 20K. I see Verana and Casemiro at their peak, not 2024, at their peak. I see a Benzema. Ooh, you know I see a Chris. Chris. I see Chris. Chris. Not Chris Nolan. That bomb who ruined Batman. I see Chris Cristiano Ronaldo. One of the greatest goal scorers the game has ever seen or will probably ever see. We see Marcelo. I see Cavajal. I see Modric. I see generational players there. I see guys who you can talk about as one of the greatest ever players in their position. And one of the best players of their generation. This is a hugely talented team. But again... That doesn't mean that these guys alone could have won that. They needed a Zidane and they needed a coach. But let's not ignore the talent. But remember, guys, this is Exhibit A. I am putting forward to the members of the jury. So members of the jury, this is Exhibit A. Look at the quality of this team. And I want all the members of the jury to please take this. Before you deliberate and you vote guilty or not guilty, just take a look at Exhibit A. Because it's very important that you take in what Exhibit A looks like. Please. Members of the jury, please. Cool. Now, remember, keep in mind, visualize what you saw in Exhibit A. Now, I present to you Exhibit B. Managing Exhibit A and Managing Exhibit B are two very different things. Being a manager is difficult. Being a manager of a talented squad is difficult. The egos, the different characters, getting them to play as a team and having chemistry and not to be selfish or think they can do everything by themselves, it is, it is difficult. But going from Managing Exhibit A and managing, oh, na, 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 a washed up Casemiro. Hot potato, hot potato, hot potato, hey! Hot potato, hot potato, hot potato, hey! Bruno. Trashford. The Moroccan Andrew Tate. Pia Mason Mount. I mean, when you look at this, Zidane, this ain't going to be coached like Real Madrid. You're going to have to come with something new. So what worked for that Real Madrid team, the techniques you used will not work here. Guaranteed. The things that you did, the training you did, the instructions you gave us, the tactical plans, the strategies, those things you did that worked so well for that Real Madrid team will not work for this team. 
because the players are much worse. The players can't do the kind of things that those players can, can do. And they are vastly inferior in ability. That's Real Madrid team, man for man, are better than anyone here. Man for man, they are better. Okay, Kelo Navas is twice the keeper that, that Onana is. <laughs> Bro, Nacho, who was probably the weakest guy in that team, Nacho starts for this team. Nacho would be one of this team's best players, Nacho. <laughs> and that is arguably the weakest player we saw on that team. So that's Nacho. Talkless of the other guys there. So for Zidane, this is who you're trying to contend with. So I say again, man, is this the right call? Now, looks like if there's a dead man walking here. And everything points to Tanaka's done. <sighs> Let's play best case scenario. Okay. Din, 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 din. Best case scenario, best case scenario. Presented to you by Half of Football Hot. So, welcome to Best Case Scenario. United dunk on City in the final. 3 0. Total beat down. They win the FA Cup. Does that save Ten Hag? No. No. I feel that he's just lost his way with his team. And I think the players have lost their way. And I was one of those guys that said, no, 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 let Ten Hag cook, let him cook, let him cook. But me being objective, I feel Ten Hag only has himself to, to blame. You are brought in to be a philosophy manager. Win, lose, or draw, be the, a philosophy. Now, it was a bit hard to begin with. But that summer transfer window, you had to get the players you needed. Okay, we couldn't get Frankie. What's your plan B? Bro, like, we, we've all played football manager. There's a prime guy that we want. But we can't get him, boom. Guys, one of the most key things in a football manager is that summer transfer window. But I've been playing champion manager since I was in my teens. And I know that whenever I join a club, the, the first thing I do is my summer transfer window. Okay, I need my defender who can play all positions. I need my defensive midfielder who's good at tackling. I need my creative playmaker who's my number 10, and I need my striker who has really good quality movement because I like playing a 4-3-3, going through the middle and using through balls. That is the first thing that I do. That's I have to get all these players. And if I don't get my first option, I need my second option and my third option because I have a way I want to play and I have my general philosophy and I can't play with my general philosophy if I don't have my players. I need my number 10. I need my creative playmaker. I need my DM. I need a defender that can cover all positions. I need a defender who can go, go up and down. I need a striker who has great movement because I like to do through balls. So I have to have these pieces. So the fact that Ten Hag, you went into that new season with Hans having crucial pieces for the way you wanted to go, then you had to go from philosophy manager to git manager. Ten Hag, you're not a git manager. You're a philosophy manager. See, a good manager, give me anybody, I'll get a result for you. Any player, anybody. Give me Cross the Clown, give me Homer Simpson, give me Renner and Stimpy, give me Optimus Prime Megatron, I will get a result for you. The philosophy manager, I'm sorry, I need particular players. <laughs> Without these particular players, I'm sorry, I can because I have a very specific way of playing, so I need specific players. See, Mourinho, Pick Mourinho, he was a good manager. Fergie was the ultimate good manager. There was no philosophy of Fergie. Give me anybody, I'm going to get results. So Fergie was, is arguably the greatest good manager I've ever seen. And Pep might be one of the greatest philosophy managers you've ever seen. Those are two very different managers. So for Ten Hag, you are the philosophy guy, which means you need your players and your pieces. So now you had a scenario where you, you thought you were a good guy because you got a karabuki. But now reality has set in and... Sorry, it's run out for you. So that was his biggest mistake. And, I, and I'm sorry, like, I mean, you've got to go. And I think for United, what they want is a philosophy manager. Let's have a philosophy. Let's have a way of playing. And hopefully within time, hopefully not so long, you get results. But, but, this won't work. This won't work. 
You say something, is Zidane a good manager or a, or a philosophy manager? Hmm. I don't know. That's actually a good question. I'm not sure. But this, this one's work. This one's work. You, where United should go, United, United need a philosophy manager. Now, you have to start again, but I think based on just how far things have got and what football is right now, they need a philosophy manager and need to actually build a team with a certain ethos and build from there. Because you're bringing a good guy where are the players? Where are the pieces? And when you look at the world of football right now, where it's less about individuals and more about team and systems, you have to have a philosophy. We are living in a philosophy world. There are some guys who can still do good, like Carlo, who does do good. But he's in a privileged position that he's at Real Madrid with specific players who can execute good. United are not in that same position. So you do need a philosophy guy and a philosophy guy that can yield results. And I'm just not sure whether the Zid is that dude.